Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with your weekly health tip, motivational thought. And um, what I was going to say is that probably the most important video I'll ever make, and I plan to make more and maybe I'll keep saying that again and again, but I feel like this is a very, very powerful one. And what I wanted to say is that I believe you were put here for a reason. And why so much I love the chiropractic philosophy is that the chiropractic philosophy is always saying that when you see someone, your goal should be maximizing full expression of that person. Um, of course, we want to help people with you know headaches and backaches and I get all that kind of stuff. But look at how powerful that concept is. You're saying when you meet someone by working with the brain and nervous system, how help, help that person have maximum expression and what a great way to look at it. And I can tell you as a doctor of chiropractic that when a patient walks through our doors and when we meet, um, and we agree that we can work as a team and we work towards that health goal and you work with them and you start to see transformation, you see things start to change and they start to say, you know what, I'm just feeling stronger, getting out of bed was earlier this day, um, I'm spending better time with my family, we're laughing again, we're happy, um, I'm thinking about going back to school, I'm going to probably change a career. Uh, when you see that happen, that is the essence of chiropractic and, and that's what I want for you guys and that's why this video is so important. I want you to ask yourself, how much potential do you truly have? And then what is the legacy you're going to leave? Why did God put you on earth? And, you know, maybe you're amazing at music. Maybe you're amazing at computers. Maybe you have that talent. But promise me this, man, or actually just promise to yourself that we're all here for a limited time. Max it out. But make sure whatever gift you've been given, that you express it. Now, for some people, if you're really blessed, you'll have that talent and you can actually make a career out of it, a livelihood out of it. And that's like massive respect. That's incredible. Um, for some of you, you may have a certain talent and it could be just a hobby, something you do on the side, but make sure you nurture it. Make sure you have a chance to express it. Let's say someone loves music and, uh, you know, they're trying to get into the music scene and they're not sure if they'll ever have a CD deal or like sign up with a major record company, but they listen to music they sing songs and, you know, they record stuff and like, you need to make sure you express it. Maybe you're a painter and I don't know, I mean, I hope you become super successful, but even if you don't, or if you're not, you don't sell it, you're painting for millions of dollars, um, make sure you make time to paint, to draw just for yourself. Because I think when you actually express that gift that God's given inside you, there's a happiness you'll have and no one can take away and you can't even put a price on it. And it's because you're expressing that special thing you have inside you. So I'm not asking you to do anything crazy and like, you know, quit your job or anything. But what I'm asking you to do is if you have a certain passion, make time for that passion. It's going to refuel you. It's going to energize you. And I actually believe if you make time for your passion, it's going to actually help heal you. Because when we make time to do things we love and we do stuff that God put us here for, amazing things happen. So leave a legacy, you have a gift, make sure you express it. Maybe it's a career, maybe it's a hobby, maybe it's something you do for yourself, but make time for it. You have a gift and you might be listening to this and you're like, I don't even know what my gift is. Then make time to search for it because you have something. I don't think God makes people just randomly. There's a reason, divine purpose you are here. Find out what it is and start to express it. Get that energy back. Get that vitality back. Then things are going to be better. Who knows? Maybe your whole life will go in a great, fabulous direction. And even if whatever happens, if you have that chance to just constantly, at least weekly, dip into that stuff that, you know, you know, maybe it's playing the piano, whatever it is, whatever that gift you have is. Maybe you're crazy mad at tennis. Maybe you're awesome at golf or whatever it is. Make time for it. And I can tell you from my generation, like, it's so tempting to say, I got busy, I don't have time, things, you know, like, got responsibilities, I'm asking for half an hour, hour, whatever it is, make time to express your gift, you'll be happier, you'll be healthier, and I personally believe you're going to make God happy, so, thank you so much, if you like this, please give a big thumbs up, share this with your friends, and again, you're amazing, you're great, you have a gift, express it, it's the way to live life, thank you so much, this is Dr. Sandra, we're here again next week.